blessed and most merciful Heavenly Father. Lord, I come before you humbly, Lord, and I beg, and I plead, Lord, you give me the courage, the will, the words, the wisdom to speak. And I pray, Lord, they be your words, not my words. I pray all this in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Amen. I am just the dust of the earth, and no one is beneath me. And the only thing that's special about me is that I am forgiven, and I am God's dear. I was called, and I had a very hard calling to be a watchman. And God would not accept my no answer. He made me an offer I could not refuse. I tried to tell him that I couldn't speak before the public. I, I just couldn't do it. But God showed me that I am whatever he says that I am. And I'm not a writer, but the Holy Spirit told me to write books. I'm not a videographer, but the Holy Spirit told me to make these videos. And I'm not a speaker, but the Holy Spirit tells me to speak, so I speak. And I'm here today to tell you that my, my dreams that I had, they're starting to come true. And not just me, but David Wilkerson, Dimitri Dudeman, Henry Groover, many others. They've all, they've all witnessed in dreams and visions. They saw economic collapse, war, uh, earthquakes, major earthquakes, tsunamis, all coming to America, coming to the world too. But what I see developing now is that You've had Credit Suisse, a, a Swiss bank, major, very major Swiss bank. It's literally every day, every single day. There's billions being pulled out of that bank from by depositors because it's so close to collapse. And when that bank collapses, it's going to be bad. And then Deutsche Bank, it's one of the top 10 largest banks in the world. And it's also right at the verge of collapse. And then there was a bank in California just recently, just in the last few days. It collapsed, closed its doors. Um, that bank was called, uh, now, this should all, this should all be a wake up call for all of us. That all these people, all these people that's had all these dreams and visions of economic collapse coming, this should be a wake-up call because it's close. It's close. Now we we may get raptured. We may get raptured before that it gets bad. Or on the other hand, we may we may see some calamities before we get raptured. But that's 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 up to God. Our job is to be faithful and true. And to be in prayer and watching, watching for that, that great catching away, the rapture of the faithful. And I choose to remain faithful and true, to be diligent, to be in the Word of God. Because His promises are true. His promises are true. And one day, Jesus, He will, he will return and He will take His faithful home. Our job is to be faithful. So I pray that you are all prayed of, that you are rapture ready, ready to go. Because all this, all this just proves that the rapture is so close. And you have Iran just within days, within days of having a nuclear bomb ready. And they say when they get one, they're going to use it on Israel. And so Israel is now under the gun to attack Iran. This world is in a fix. And we haven't seen anything yet. One day, one day this is just going to bust wide open. Economic collapse is going to come. War is going to come. And then war is going to come to America. 
but before that they'll be rioting in the streets, there'll be burnings, murders, it'll be terrible. It'll be food riots, welfare riots, food stamp riots. People will just riot for any reason or no reason. People will murder and kill for no reason. I've seen it. I've seen it. My heart grows so heavy knowing what's coming and then not being able to do anything about it. But then we are all we are all responsible for our own salvation. That's why I beg you. That's why I beg you. Carry your Bible wherever you can. Say the blessing over every meal. And be in constant prayer. Because the rapture's coming soon. So so very, very soon. And we pray. We pray that you're prayed up and you're ready to go. And we will see you. We will see you on those streets of gold one day very, very soon. We will see you there on that day. God bless you. God keep you in his loving arms. Just like he helped me. Just like he helped me. And every single one of you have been a blessing. Have been a blessing to us. And we love you also very, very much. And we keep you in our prayers. God bless you. God keep you. Amen. And we're going home soon. We're going home soon. We're going home soon. Time is short. Time is short. Time is short. Time is short, Lord. Time is short. Time is short. Time is short.